Hello everyone and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. In this video we are going to learn how to create this little glitter face mask. And this is accomplished by using the material editor to create a shader that mimics this little glitter effect. And it doesn't use any outside textures so it saves a lot of space. So let's start a new project and get this started. First, let's add a face mesh. And then we can go into the material editor and delete everything in that face mesh. And the first thing we'll add is a random noise node. And then we will add a surface UV coordinates node to attach to the seed. And then when you plug that in, you'll see it's just kind of like different pixels with different uh, colors from black to white. So let's add a float parameter to control the scale of the noise. And then let's enable the min and the max, and we'll set the max to about 350. And then you can slide it around to see how big or small it gets. And then let's just copy this random noise node two times, and we'll plug in the scale and the UV coordinates to those as well. So if we plug in each of them, you'll see that they're the exact same. And what we want to do is make them a little bit different. So let's first add a rotate coordinates node so that we can rotate them about 45 degrees. Then you'll see that it's actually more kind of like a diamond shape. So now let's make these a little bit more randomized. So we'll add a multiply node and attach it to the scale. And let's just multiply it by 0.9 so that's a little bit smaller. And we'll copy that, put it on the top one, and multiply that one by 1.1 to make it a little bit bigger. So now let's create an add node and attach it to the seed. And we're going to put in some random numbers in the x and the y values so that it basically moves the noise to another random point that's different from the other ones. Now let's multiply these nodes together so that we can mix them up. Now when we output that, you'll see that it's mixed up more. But it doesn't look exactly right yet. Let's attach a PBR node, set it to diffuse only. And let's actually put this in the emissive node. And then we'll change the albedo color to black. And then we can see how it's actually kind of mixed up. Let's attach a power node in between that, and then we can add a float node, which will control the intensity of the mix. And let's enable min and max, and we'll set the max to about 15, and the min to 1. So then you'll see that it'll kind of change how much it's mixing together. And if we adjust the noise scale and add a bunch of the scale to it, then you'll see that it actually starts looking a little bit more like glitter, but it's not moving yet. Let's just scale it up a little bit so we can see it better. Alright, so now what we're going to do is add a time node so that we can start moving the glitter. So let's multiply this time node by... 0.01 and then we're going to add that into the current seed so you'll see it's starting to move a little bit so let's do the same thing for the bottom one as well and then let's multiply this by negative 0.01 so now it's looking a little bit more like glitter. So let's attach a float parameter to the elapsed time node so that we can control the speed. And we'll set the minimum to 0.1, the max to about 10. So now we can change how fast the glitter is going. We could also adjust the direction of the movement a little bit more by turning the channel to X, Y, and also changing the Y coordinates as well. 
let's just kind of play around here until we see something that we like. So let's set the X value to, uh, well, let's actually set it to zero. Yeah, that looks a little better. Okay, so now we see that the glitter is moving like we want it to. And a lot of shader work, you'll notice, is just kind of adjusting the parameters until they look how you want them to. So we'll be doing that multiple times here. And let's uh, set the blend mode to add so that we can actually see what the glitter will look like. So now if you just want black and white glitter, then you're done, but what we could do here is add some color to it, and we can use the existing random noise nodes that we have to get R, G, and B values. So if we plug in each of the noise nodes into the R, G, and B, they'll give you a random color value for each of those pixels. So now you'll actually see that it's random colored noise. So what we want to do is create a blend node and then blend those two together. And then we'll set the blend mode to color. So then let's attach that back to the emissive and let's adjust the parameters some more. If you scale it down, you'll see that it's actually putting some random colors in those little glitter spots. So let's mess around with the noise intensity maybe the speed a little bit. Now we have some colored glitter. Okay, so now let's create an opacity mask for the face mask so that we can make it kind of look like makeup or something. So let's add a 2D texture parameter so that we can add different images to it. We'll just call it opacity map. Now I'll show you some examples of masks that I've created. So that one kind of looks like a little eye shadow. And it doesn't look exactly right because what we need to do is split that vector. So we'll need to just attach the alpha channel into the opacity. And now you'll see that it's actually working correctly. And then we can adjust the parameters some more. Let's get them how we want. Let's try some different opacity masks to see how it looks. That looks pretty cool. So next I'll show you how to actually create these opacity masks. First we're going to need the reference image for the face mesh so that we can color around it. So let's open up Lens Studio and we'll search face mesh and we'll click the second one. And then if you scroll down you can click on the face mesh guide and then scroll down some more and you'll see the image that you can download. So let's download that UV image, and then we'll open up our photo editing software of choice, minus Photoshop. Okay, and then let's open up that UV image, and you'll see that it's kind of hard to see the actual mesh. So let's create a new layer, drag it down to the bottom, and then we'll just fill the background with black so that we can actually see it. Okay, so now let's create a brush, and so I'm using this speckled brush, which works really well with the glitter. So let's create a new layer, and we'll use white to start drawing our little mask. And if you want to use symmetry, you can just click the symmetry button and make it vertical, and then we can draw on both sides simultaneously. So I'll just draw some random stuff in here, just to show you how it works. And then when I'm done, I'm going to disable the other two layers, and then just export it as a PNG image. Okay, and now once we have the image, let's test it out in Lens Studio. So we'll just import that. And let's try it out. That looks pretty cool. So there's a lot of different effects that you could create with this, not even just with the face mesh, but you could apply this to different 3D objects or images, or you could use it as a background. 
and you can do a lot of different things with the face mesh as well with the opacity mask. So that about does it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And as always, go ahead and share your creations with me. I'd love to see what you can do with this. Alright, happy creating everyone!